Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. I'm coming to you with a very quick little video right now. Um, I was going to put this in the community tab, but I thought I was feeling okay enough to sit down in front of the camera. Might not look the best, but I didn't mind sitting down. So, um, quick little like health and channel update over the next uh, few days. Um, so, I did end up in hospital on Saturday night. I showed up at 9.30 and it was a full moon. <laughs> So it was crazy busy, um, but um, I had an accelerated heart rate again. Um, so anyway, I ended up seeing the specialists on Sunday, just before lunchtime, and they changed some of the dosages on my medication and what have you and sent me on my merry way. But the one thing that they said is because I had had this cough and this fever, they're like, we're going to test you for COVID as well just uh, just to be on the safe side because sometimes COVID can cause this irregular heartbeat in, in general, but mo mostly in people who have this issue to begin with. So I found out last night that yeah, I tested positive for COVID. Um, so yay. I was supposed to be off work next week on holiday um, or on vacation, as North Americans would say. I don't know why I say holiday. Um, and <coughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, so what I did was I talked to my manager and I'm like, listen, this sucks. I hate it. But because I was just diagnosed, like I was just, I just tested positive. Um, it's best, I think, that I don't come in because I do not want to infect anybody else. So I'm off um, for four days until Friday. So I'll go back to the office on Friday. I'm not feeling horrible. When I had COVID last December... I had it for three weeks and it was just, I don't remember that month. Like I was that sick. I had that, you know, I remember I worked through part of it and you know, what have you. So yeah, it's, it's, it's better than it was. Like I am running a fever off and on. Um, Tylenol has become my new best friend. I've got this cough <laughs> as soon as I say it. I am a bit congested. Um, and I'm tired. That's the biggest thing is that I'm absolutely exhausted. So I guarantee you, as soon as I get this filmed, I'm probably going to lay down and have a nap. Um, but yeah, so that's it health wise. Everything else is good. I mean, I'm still dealing with these cardiac issues. They're trying to figure out what it is that's causing this increased heart rate. In this case, it's probably COVID, but there are other things because it's still happening. I do have an appointment in two weeks with the heart failure clinic. That is a thing now. That's where we're at. We're dealing. It's going to be okay. Um, that's what I tell myself. That I uh, am in the hands of some amazing, amazing, some world-class doctors at a world-class hospital. So I am not concerned about that at all. Um, but anyway, to get off the that, that point of it. Um, what am I currently reading? Because you know I'm going to be doing a bit of reading over the next few days that I'm at home. So I did start yesterday while I was in the hospital. <coughs> oh, I was reading the Agatha Christie, The Body in the Library. I got about 30% of the way through it, guys, and I just couldn't... It, it, I mean, it was good. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't loving it. And when October the 1st hit, this part of my brain went, new month, witchy month, spooky month. We must read all the witchy books. So I decided to DNF it for now. That's a definite for now. I will pick it up at a later date, guaranteed. But I decided to pick up some witchy stuff. So I did start yesterday playing the witch card by K, uh, KJ Delantonia. Um, I'm about two or three chapters into this and I'm really enjoying it so far. So our main character, Flair, has moved back to her small hometown. Her grandmother used to run the shop that she now runs, but her grandmother passed away. But it sounds like she ran like a tea shop that did like more witchy tea stuff, like if people needed a special uh, blend, if you will, for something. And she is completely, like, has no interest in that, but it seems like nobody ever comes into her shop. And the big Halloween thing is about to happen in town, so they're trying to get her to become a part of it. And then hopefully that way she can become a part, more of a part of the town again. So yeah, so that's the story so far, and I am enjoying it. Um, and then I did decide, decide to start a Harlequin Anticipated Read, which is a new release for the month of October. And this is Breaking the Rancher's Rules by Cat Shield. This is a desire novel. This is the next book in the um, apps and some, the Texas Cattlemen's Club apps and dating apps. 
I can't remember the name of the, the maybe it's on the front here. It's not. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so in this one, um, our female lead, our, yeah, okay, so the sister of our male lead um, did a, ended up doing a house swap with our female lead. And I'm, I'm not even a chapter into this yet, guys. And, <coughs> sorry. So they are switching houses and um because the sister of the female of the male lead lives on this farm and our female lead lives in the big city in dallas i guess it is so they're gonna switch like houses do a house swap she meets the brother the story will go from there so anyway yeah so far enjoying it um like i said i'm not even a chapter into it yet but cat shield is a fantastic author so anyway guys that's it now as for uh videos for this week there will not be any um this is gonna be it this is gonna be the video um until Friday. On Friday, I will post my weekly um, TBR for next week. I do not want to miss those videos. Um, so yeah, that is a definite must, but you will not see anything else from me for the rest of this week. And then hopefully we'll be back to our regular schedule program programming on Saturday, guys. So take care. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everybody.